Now we, good evening to you. Good evening to you. We do evening. good evening to you. We do know the principle of Audi altering party here, the other party first, and again a person should be tried before a decision is taken. Mm-hmm. It appears you do not think that we should go through that laborious process. The man should be fired or he should quit already. Why? Because of the culture we have built for ourselves as a nation, uh, especially during uh, the incumbency of the, of the present government. Now, I'm a firm believer in the rule of law. And I know that uh, the, an accused person must be given the opportunity. That is why all or every accused person is usually <coughs> given uh, a hearing. But in this country, the culture is that the executive will always find a way you know, of exonerating uh, persons suspected of having misconducted themselves. Now, the culture we have rather you know, believed in as a nation is that the innocent must rather be punished. The innocent must rather be punished. And you know, the, the suspect must rather be exonerated. So, for one, my take in the matter is that Given the surrounding circumstances of this matter, there's every moral justification for the attorney general to quit his job, to you know, save his hard earned reputation. I respect him. He was one of our brightest students, and uh, from day one, I have followed with keen interest his performance as an attorney general. And when he was appointed, I recall inviting him and counseling him to make sure that he does not soil his hand. If you ask him, you you know, uh, bear witness. Now, as an attorney general, who is in charge of the processes and the criminal justice system, he knows or ought to know that a plea bargaining can only take place under his auspices in his chamber, not at the ministry, at the chambers of the attorney general or the chambers of the trial judge. Now, from the the narrative, in today's daily guide, and I'm, you know, taking from the daily guide because he used to be the legal advisor to the daily guide newspaper, and therefore, you know, I'm following with keen interest the uh, stories as they are told by daily guide because the, the, there's an attempt to embellish it, and that is why, you know, I believe, you know, that. The, the uh, nothing good can come out of any inquiry, whether we label it parliamentary or judicial or executive inquiry. But let him face the law in the law court. That is why he, as the attorney general, with statutory responsibility, with constitutional responsibility, you know, to superintend the rule of law, must be the first to go and face it. Let him tell his story in an ordinary court before an impartial justice and exonerate himself. Don't let him do it through the lens of a political or politically motivated commission of inquiry which will come to nothing. But is this... Secondly, okay. secondly go ahead. I don't believe in the executive ever doing the right thing under this government. This government itself has been suffocated by scandal. And this is only a tip of the iceberg. And the executive knows it. We, are, we want to give them another chance to just throw dust into our eyes by asking the special prosecutor to prosecute his own friends 
Mind you, the two of them were late at their law school and have been very, very, very good friends. And the special prosecutor owes his job to Dami. And therefore, I can predict already that we'll have, um, the, we'll, we'll have an empty, empty judgment book if come the DD. That if this thing is conducted in court, even if even if he's able to you know get acquitted, he'll be satisfied that the right thing has been done. But if we fall on the executive or expect the executive to do the reasonable thing, it will not be done. And that is why morally I'm demanding the the attorney general to set his own conscience and resign. I don't care whether Ato, Ato Fortin or Richard Jaffa were represented by counsel. Under our constitution, an accused person must always have counsel of his own choice. But given the surrounding circumstances, it was not a plea bargaining you know, that they, they, they were involved in. It was a complete commercial deal. If you give me this, I'll do that for you. That is you know, the history of you know, such plea bargainings in this country. Mind you, the, the Woyome case, the same thing happened. What, what, what did we see? In the Woyome case, the trial judge, the chief state attorney, and the chief state attorney lost his job. Why do we want to shield the attorney general who ought to know better? The attorney general should know better. The attorney general should have known I'm walking into you know, the, 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 the uh, judge's residence to meet Atu Fortin or Richard Jaffa, unaccompanied by you know, other persons or as dangerous as what has turned, as it has turned out to be. We should have you know, known better. Not having known better, he has laid in bed. Let him lie in it. So... I'll continue to demand his resignation. He must resign. The president cannot sack him. The president doesn't have the guts to do that. So he himself should advise himself and live, you know, honorably, do the honorable thing. And I can, I can, I can assure Ghanaians that this matter, if it is not handled very well, is going to be a despising for the entire nation. We will lose you know, our image as a rule of law country. The attorney general you know, will lose his respect. You know, if he attends um, uh, conferences and workshops and seminars, you know, he will not be himself. He will always be you know, mm. a shadow of okay. himself. Uh, yeah. So, so just, 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 just out of curiosity, um, the way you, you are mistrusting the government, I am... I'm thinking you are mistrusting it because it's an MPP government. Are you, by any chance, an NDC aligned I'm person? The of the NPP. I'm one of the founders of the NPP, but of, I mean, of, I of, the, of the MPP when, or when, NDC? When, when, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sir. Me, founding members of NDC, the elephant, or NPP? Oh, sorry, the NPP, the oh, elephant. elephant uh, proper, proper, proper elephant. So you're an MPP person? No, no, no that I was uh, the Rochester's uh, right hand man. I see, and you were also director under the Kufo administration. You were director yeah, of the law school as well. Back. The Kufo administration, so that was no problem. I, I actually, I actually was going to go to the sacking under the Kufo administration. You waited until uh-huh, you were, well, oh, you, you waited I'm until you j- just a second. You were you waited until you were interdicted as director of the law school at the time. You didn't you didn't jump the boat like you're asking Godfrey Dami to do now. You didn't jump the ship. You waited till you were pushed. Maybe he no, should also wait till he get pushed. No, 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 I left. The statement I'm looking at, uh, issued by Aiko Otu at the time, who was Attorney General, um, interdicted you and set up a committee to investigate you. Yes. And after today, they didn't finish. They couldn't finish with uh, this thing. It was a hard job. But let's put that one aside. I'll come to that later on. The, the involvement of sitting judges. In my case, in my case, for instance, I you go to appointed a sitting judge, Yasis Akamba, and after halfway through it, he was elevated to the Supreme Court. Let, let's not go there because I have a lot to say about that, but for now, maybe one day in my memories, I'll talk about it. For now, 
let's you know talk serious business. So, so what you are saying let's, is not uh, is no not matter, is, so what you are saying is not hatred. Yes. What you are saying is not hatred against the NPP, which you are. You oh, are no, 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 oh no 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 not at all. Before I say my friend, no, I go there you know uh, quite often, you know, no bitterness at all. But the the point I'm making is this government. When Nanadu took over uh, some uh, seven, years ago, seven, eight years, I was, yes, I was interviewed and I said that I can predict that the government will be suffocated by the administration will be suffocated by scandal, and I've been, I've been, uh, you know, to right. And what, what, was your, what was the source of your fear? Was it the man in charge of the government or some appointees of the government? Uh, uh, the, the, my, my apprehension, which I think out to be legitimate, is that the man in charge of you know, the government uh, has too many friends. And I saw that it was going to be a government of friends, and it turned out to be a government of friends. Now, in this country, our culture is that when when you are in business with your friends, members of your family, and nothing gets done rightly, you know. So from time to time, I remember, you know, uh, whispering into the ears of big shots, you know, who have the, the who have easy access to the ears of, the, of, of his excellency to to advise him on some of these things. That if you look at the uh, people who have been appointed ministers, quite a number of them have, you know, uh, some words in their drawing. You see, and therefore it is like one of the one of the uh, the uh, conditions for appointment or qualifications for appointment is that you must have soiled your hand. Before you get appointed, this, now, this, when, this are serious. You know, these are serious allegations yes, you're making. Sir. I, I, yes, at my age now, seventy-two years, I don't have you know to 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 lie to the public or you know be be economical with the truth. So you 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 are thinking, thinking that you are thinking that the president would. You, you think, director, say some okay. of the some of the wrongs that are going on, you know, will see, but because. Because you know we, we, we haven't you know gotten the 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 the, the girls to speak our mind, therefore ministers get away you know uh, largely with impunity. How long did it take the president to start a minister of finance? How long did it take him? I remember when I I, I demanded the resignation of the finance minister. You know, some friends called me and said, I want to be in there now. So look at the state of the economy today because of one man. Sir, how many, how many of the ministers ought not to have been reshuffled or sacked? They are there. Somebody, somebody, somebody's uh, meat or house health stole millions of dollars. And then the, the, uh, uh, a court of law who order that the the stolen money should be returned? Where, 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 look, if we were, if with the greatest respect, if we were practicing real democracy, we would not be in this discussion. Dami would have resigned, and that would be it. So you don't think the so you don't think the president has so you don't think the president can fire him so the only option left is for him to quit. I I dare the president to fire him. You will be a man to fire him. I'm telling you that he doesn't have the political will to do that. Very well. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you. Good night. Good night. That's Mr. Kweku Ansa Asari, seventy-two year old, retired former director of the Ghana School of Law.